I think I struggled with, was I a street brand, am I a designer brand? I didn't like either one of those terms. And I think even buyers don't know where to put me on the floor. Are you contemporary? Are you um, street? Are you designer? And you know, we're in about 50 doors worldwide and they all kind of have us in a different place. You know, there's some stores where we sit designer and there's some stores we sit street, some stores we sit contemporary. Um, and I kind of like that. I'm not trying to uh, fit into any type of category that would limit me to what I'm coming up with or what I'm creating. You know, Fear of God isn't necessarily a clothing brand anyway. It's for me, it's a, it's a conviction and it's, there's a message that's behind it. And so whatever the avenue is to get that message out, whether it's me sitting in PacSun, a lower price brand and reaching some kids from high school or sitting in unknown, you know, next to some higher priced brands. My design process hasn't really changed. I think I, I still use the basis of what do I need in my closet? You know, what is this kid that's going to school? When he goes in his closet, I want to make something that's not going to disrupt what he already has. Everybody wants that loud piece, but they still want something they know they can get a lot of use out of. They still want to buy something that they know they're going to wear more than once. So I'm always trying to create pieces that I think you know, people can wear more than once and that they can get a lot of use out of and, again, doesn't like disrupt what they already have in their closet. For third collection, I, I use these um, Desert Storm like uh, military boots. I began to see a lot of those military boots in the market after we used them in our campaign. Whether it's a coincidence or not, it gave me the confidence to say that I think I could have an impact in footwear. I love the military boot because it was tonal. I love the color and it worked, went well with the campaign, but it wasn't a shoe that I, I could wear because the toe was kind of bulky and it just wasn't my shoe. So I just had this idea of kind of like mixing, you know, this military boot with kind of this uh, sneaker shape. You know, it didn't feel that, you know, it, when, when you feel it, it feels like a boot, but if, if you look at it, it almost looks like a sneaker. So I wanted to mesh those two worlds together, and I feel like it was a perfect storm of I needed this shoe in my closet. I felt like I had enough clout to have impact in the market and belief in myself to put my idea into a shoe. And it all just kind of came together. I went to Italy and met with a developer, and we hit it off. And it was last April, so it's been almost a year from um, conception to it being in stores. Really happy with it, and we're still developing this too. You know, still tweaking and perfecting until, I don't think we're ever gonna stop tweaking and perfecting, but it's always an ongoing process.